right, now, hydrocarbons! Which, of course, based on their name, you can very easily determine that they're molecules that are made of hydrogen and carbon. And only hydrogen and carbon. If there's anything else in the molecule, a chlorine, an oxygen, a nitrogen, then it's not a hydrocarbon. A hydrocarbon has only hydrogen and carbon. There are two kinds of hydrocarbons. There's aliphatic hydrocarbons, which are straight chain or open chain hydrocarbons. And then there's aromatic or closed chain hydrocarbons that have a feature called resonance. We'll take a look at that later on down the road. For now, we're going to focus on the aliphatic hydrocarbons, of which there's two kinds, saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Saturated means that it's been saturated with hydrogen. What does that mean? That every possible bond that can go from a carbon to a hydrogen is filled. As opposed to an unsaturated hydrocarbon, where not all of the bonds that are possible go to hydrogen. Saturated hydrocarbons have only single bonds between carbons. Unsaturated hydrocarbons have double or triple bonds between carbons. Bonds that can be broken so that more hydrogens can bond. So saturated means saturated with hydrogen, and unsaturated means not saturated with hydrogen. Saturated hydrocarbons are called, without exception, alkanes. You've heard of alkanes before. There's methane, and there's ethane, and propane, and butane, and pentane, and hexane, and heptane, and octane, and nonane, and decane. To name an alkane, all you need to do is look up the number of carbons in the alkane molecule, and that gets a prefix. One carbon is meth, two is eth, three is pro, four is bute, five is pen, six is hex, seven is heft, eight is oct, nine is non, and ten is dec. All right here. And then you slap A-N-E on the end, ane, methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, etc., etc. Now, if you know the number of carbons, to find the number of hydrogens, you just double the number of carbons and add two. If there's one carbon, double that and add two. Double one, you get two. Add two to that, you get four, CH4. One carbon, this is called methane, also known as natural gas. If there's two carbons, double it, that's four. And add two, that's six. C2H6 is called ethane. C3H, double the three, you get six. Add two, you get eight. C3H8, is propane, also known as cylinder gas. It's what you use when you cook on a gas grill. Unsaturated hydrocarbons come in two flavors. If there's a double bond in the molecule, it's called an alkene. If there's a triple bond in the molecule, it's called an alkyne. Alkene, alkyne. Alkynes of people become chemistry teachers. And on reference table cube, your reference tables gives you all the information you need to know about any of them. You don't have to memorize this, at least not if you're in New York State and taking Regents Chemistry. When you throw a double bond between the carbons, it robs two hydrogens of a place to bond. So alkenes are going to have two less hydrogens than alkanes do. In alkanes, we doubled the carbons and added two to find the number of hydrogens. And alkenes, we don't add the extra two, because there's two less spaces. If that double bond wasn't there, the carbons could each have one more hydrogen. But since that double bond is there, we've got two less hydrogens than the alkanes have. Double two, you get four. This is called ethene. Double three, you get six. Three is prope, propene. C4H, double is 8. C4H8 is butene. Butene and the beast. Alkynes. The name ends in Y-N-E. Now, adding that extra bond makes it so that alkynes can have two less hydrogens than alkenes had. Every time you put a bond in between two carbons, it makes it so that two fewer hydrogens can bond. The name ends in Y-N-E, the general formula, CnH2n minus 2. Okay, 2n plus 2, add an extra bond between carbons, two less hydrogens. Add another bond between the carbons, two less hydrogens than that. So, double 2 is 4, subtract 2 is 2. This is called ethine. C3, double 3, you get 6. Subtract 2, you get 4. This is called prop 
9. Double 4, you get 8. Subtract 2, you get 6. This is called butyne. So why exactly is it that when you add a bond between the carbons, you have two less hydrogens than you had before? Remember, carbon can form four bonds in organic compounds. No more, no less. Four bonds. So notice this molecule has two carbons, C2, and how many hydrogens? Two, four, six. We double the two, we get four. We add two, we get six. The general formula of an alkane. CnH2n plus 2. But if we put a double bond in here, now the carbon has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bonds. We have to get rid of the hydrogen to make room for that double bond to go in there. Now there's two fewer hydrogens than there were before. C2H4. Double the carbons and you get the hydrogens. If you make it a triple bond, now, this carbon has one, two, three, four, five bonds, so we've got to get rid of one of the hydrogens and one of the hydrogens, and now we have two carbons and two hydrogens. So double the number of carbons and subtract two. And that's why every time you put a bond in between carbons, you have two fewer hydrogens in that homologous series than you had in the previous one.